am back once again in this game. Honestly, I can't remember why. Oh, that's right. I was sick. Uh, so I was thinking kind of a good thing that I did cancel it last time. Because I wasn't really that willing to go through what I'm going to go through today. And now I am. So let me just do my usual test. Make sure that everything is working. What help if I unmute myself? I'm not hearing any gameplay. If I unmute myself, I'm not hearing any gameplay. So I'm gonna go outside and see if I can uh, see anything. But I'm still outside. testing audio. It works. It works. Everything works. Just had to listen for the gun cocking. <sighs> so I discovered something. Something that's kind of interesting. Is uh, something I never knew my first time playing through this game. Because the first, or my last time really, playing through this game. Because the first and last time I beat this game, I never really knew that there were challenges tied to completion. What I mean by that is, let me see if I can find uh, something. I know there's like a newspaper down here. That is something we will be doing later. There are newspapers that are scattered around here and I'm trying to find one. Because that's one that we unlocked. I think it may be upstairs. One that we unlocked uh, for uh, defeating uh, William Johnson. Or uh, for doing the Boston Tea Party. But I think it's actually in this room. Yes, here it is. So this is in regards to the Boston Massacre. We, and this is the Boston Tea Party. We just basically unlocked new uh, newspaper articles as we progressed through the uh, thing and there's also challenges that I never knew existed and we already have one challenge set complete and that is in regards to the hunting uh, challenge for not this room and not this room either I think it's in here yes uh, we already have all the hunting missions done so we got all of these uh, mementos but there's also ones related to the Frontiersman thing, which I think is actually these things are on the wall here, which I can't interact with. And we also have, uh, I, I can still turn around. We also have, uh, out in here, uh, overall challenges that are related to progression. So this is one for the Archer conversation, and uh, th we get this for interacting with Lumberjack's wives. There is a award for doing all of the conversations. I do want to get everything in the game, so from this point forward, I will be trying to do all of the conversations. But there's also things related to exploration and progression. And this is the one that we got for do getting a Frontier down percent, and this one we got for getting Boston down percent. So that's about all that we... Why is my screen flashing? That's about... Seriously, what the heck is going on? Okay, I may need to restart my game because something's weird going on. I wanted to talk to Achilles because uh, he did have some new dialogue for us. Remembering old times, Achilles? 
doing? Connor. Oh, yes. I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de Venturis, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. Did I supposed to be thunder? protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. So that's kind of cool. We get a new dialogue from Achilles. Uh... That's very strange. Green was flashing. What is this? Oh, these are all the outfits. I want to actually go back to the Jamestown outfit. I don't like all that brown in the one I was wearing. What is with the light flashing? Is there like a thunderstorm going on? And it's just freaking out because of thunder? It sounds like it. Yeah, it is. Why is it I'm getting such exaggerated light flashing in the house? What I want to do to start off is to get one achievement out of the way, which is to win a game of Phantom Rona, Bulls, and, uh... I, I can't remember what the other one's called. It is... We found a Rona, Morris, and Bulls. We already have Bulls done, so let's try and get the others out of the way. I also forgot. I think I have. Oh, I can't. Oh. No, I, I guess I can't uh, check the Assassin Progress. I'll worry about that later. Fanarona Expert. Fanarona is believed to have been originated in Madagascar. It is based on a nine row, five column board of intersecting lines. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board, then tries to capture the opponent's pieces by moving his own along the lines. Now they're approaching an opposing stone or withdrawing from one. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board, then tries to capture the opponent's pieces in his own lines. Okay. Goal, capture all of the opponent's pieces. Rules, capture the opponent's pieces by moving towards them or away from them. The pieces taken all consecutive. It's forbidden for a piece to move to the same slot two times in run turn. I will go first. Okay, I'm starting to figure it out. Okay, now why did he take two? It's starting to do the same thing he did. I don't understand what I'm doing at all, and he just took another piece. What?
Huh. Now, why didn't I take his diagonal? Okay, why is he taking so many turns? So I want to, I'm thinking about moving this piece. Oh no, something I could do is take this and move it over here. And uh, move this piece back. Oh, I can't actually move that piece. Yes, I know, Achilles. What do I do? Oh, uh, I, I moved the wrong piece. Oh, let's see what he does. Okay, so... I don't really see any benefit from moving this piece as I would only take that one. So what I could do is move this piece over to here. Uh, I didn't take as nearly as much as I wanted. I was trying to get the diagonal. God, he is beating my ass. I think I'm starting to understand this game. It's just going to take a couple tries for me to beat him. Oh my god, that light flash. Let's move over here. If I move here, he's just going to move this piece over there and capture it. I'm actually going to... Oh, what can I do? It's actually back... Yes, yes, I see you, Achilles. Let us actually... Back up a little bit. Try and get him to inch closer to me. God, I, I'm kind of backed into a corner here. Uh, let's try... If I move this piece here, he's going to move this piece to here and capture me. I could move this piece to he here. See what he does. Oh no, I forgot! I lost. Achilles lost. Uh, beat me. I want to try that again. I, I kind of understood that now. Okay, let's try this again. I really want to get the win out. But let's try and figure this out again. When a piece is taken all consecutive... Also be captured. Capturing moves are mandatory if no capturing. 
Catching move is possible after taking out uh, an opponent pieces. The player can keep chaining until no further capture is available. Okay, well, it doesn't tell me why, like, how capturing really works. It seems like there are times when I feel like I can capture, capture diagonal pieces, but I can't. Wait, here, let me try and get this. See that? Why did that work that time? But I don't understand. Why was I able to get the cap diagonal capture before, but I wasn't able to get it now? I'm starting to understand this game. It's just it's really kind of annoying. Okay, got a good chain going. Wow, he also got a good chain going. Wow, can you give me a break, Achilles? There's got to be a way to lower the difficulty here. Complete 50. Why am I getting that now? I got 50% last stream. That's random. And let's get these two pieces out from over here before he makes a move on. Even though I'll probably take my one in the corner. That's fine. Yep, called it. Alright. What could I do? Ideally, I would want to get the these group over here. But I don't know if that's possible. So if I move this piece here, he could move this piece here. That could give me an opening. You gonna take the bait, Achilles? Nope. Huh. Okay, well, let's just wait some turn and see what he does. I'm he I can't move this piece here because he could easily take mine. If I move this piece here, then he will just... I need to waste another turn. I need you to give me an opening, Achilles, and quit moving those baby pieces. I may have an opening here. We'll see. I'm not comfortable about that anymore because I just realized 
I move this piece here, then he'll easily capture it. I'm backed into a corner. What I could do is move this piece over here. Thing is, I'm not close enough to capture him, so... I am going to waste another turn. I will move this piece over here. I need him to give me an opening. He needs to make a move and go for the capture, because otherwise, he's doing the same piece over and over again. Okay, so let's try... It's on opposite sides of the board. It's like playing game of cat and mouse. I move this here. Okay, now I can't move this piece there because then he will make a move. Move it here. Achilles, you are not making it easy. I'm really hesitant in make, uh, trying to make any major moves because if I had three spaces in between them, maybe. But the fact that I have two spaces and if I move here, he could capture me. If I move here, that may be my best bet because I don't have any other moves I can make. Oh, yes, yes. I, I see you're getting impatient. Let's try moving here. Now I'm kind of boxed in the corner. I can only go backwards or I can move this piece over here. He's just not making any moves. He's, uh, his AI is too smart. He realizes that if he makes a uh, move first, then he'll give me the advantage. I think I may have to just give up on this because I can't actually win this round. It's just not set up for me. So I'm just going to give him the win. Just going to give him the win and start over. It's just, God, the AI. I think be closing on my pieces on the right. I see what he's trying to do. Dang it! No! Achilles, you suck! I want to win this stupid game and I don't want to play on freaking expert. But I have to. I have to do this for a stupid achievement. Okay. What the Oh, I just realized something I could do. So, my options here. If I move this here and I capture these two, then it'll give me the option to capture uh, one of these. But if I capture this... Oh, no. Either way, I'm losing two pieces. I just realized something. I move this here, and I capture these these two, and this, and th this guy could move in. Uh. 
Unless I move this here and I capture these two. And I move this back and I capture that. Oh god, I messed up! I messed up! I messed up! I screwed up. Screwed up on the very first turn. That's not where I wanted to go. I had the option for something good. Hey, he's made the same move. Oh, no, he didn't. Do that there. So I believe I think my best bet if I move this here and I grab these two, he could well he could capture me with that. That's just really sucks because I had a plan and it's just completely shattered because I misclicked. Uh, grab these two. I don't see any way for me to combo. So I guess I'm just. Well, thank you for giving me an opening. So I could... Would that be a good idea? I move this down, I capture those two, then I can move this back and capture that. What are my other options? Problem is that will give, me, give him the option to capture that piece, and he also has an option to capture that. Uh, what I could do instead, what are my options here? I'll have to capture those two and nothing else. I could capture this and I could capture that. I just realized I uh, kind of screwed up a little bit. It worked out. Okay, so I could move here and capture those two, then I could back up and capture that. Or... Thing is, if I capture just these two, then this guy can make a capture. 
But I'm thinking that may be my best bet. Because either way, he'll make a capture. I was actually kind of smart. Okay, so... I think this is my best bet. I knew it was going to take that. Oh, I didn't see that. Now we're back to this game again. Move that there, he'll catch her. Move that there, I may have a chance. Let's test our luck. Is there three spaces in there? He's not giving me any options. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna hold this off until I figure out like a easy way for me to win this. I really want to make some story progress. I just am not seeming to be able to win this game, and I've been doing this for an hour and forty six minutes now, and I just cannot beat this guy. So I think I'm actually gonna forfeit and just do the main story. I just don't see any options. I, I, I'm going to need to look it up and see if there's an easy way to do this. Something that I am kind of considering. I don't know how exactly it works. This guide, uh, I was looking at this before I started streaming. This guide says to use, oh my god, ads. Uh, this guy says to use the uh, Fanarona free app. Uh, it says it used to be that we could use a Java applet to win, but Java is out of date. Modern browsers drop the plugin. However, I found an Android app that basically does the same thing. It's called Fanarona free. And it's just basically installing it. And it looks like that it plays it for you. But I'm going to need to look into that and try to figure out how that works. But I've been doing this for an hour and 47 minutes now. And I just don't want to do this anymore. I want to actually make some story progress. So uh, I'm going to actually head out and do the story because I've been doing this for an hour and 48 minutes now. And there's anyone watching there probably just bored shitless right now. So uh, I'm going to worry about this later. <laughs>